Hey everyone, I'm working on this 06 F250. It has the 60 uh, diesel in it. And I went and pulled off the turbo because uh, they brought it in. There was no boost. I already did a little bit of diagnosing. I know the scanner said that the uh, VGT solenoid um, is, was uh, malfunctioning. But, uh, you know, I pulled it off. It did have a little bit of, um, you know, build up on it. The EGR valve um, had a lot of carbon on it, but you can see right here whenever I broke the turbo apart, how dirty it is, how much carbon buildup it is. And right here at the plate that's supposed to be spinning, it's completely froze, so it won't move at all. Um, I've got the solenoid out of it, and I, uh, I even took a little screwdriver to it, and I couldn't get it to budge at all. So whenever these veins right here is what, you know, slides back and forth to be able to... Uh, you know change the boost level but if this is frozen or messed up then you know you, you lose all your boost so you can see right here it's completely completely locked up on the on the turbo housing i can't get it to move at all so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking a little grinder and uh you know clean all this up and then try to take this plate off make sure see if it, it doesn't appear to be damaged on this side it could be on the other side but i will end up uh, you know prying it off and then uh, cleaning it up, putting some anti-seeds on it, and then putting it back together and uh, getting it back on the truck to see if uh, the boost level will come back up. So now I've got my little mini roll lock disc. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning this up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up all the way around. It has a lot of pitting on there. I'm gonna try to get most of that off. Hopefully we'll still be able to save the turbo. So I'm going to go ahead and take the little mini grinder and clean these up a little bit. They're all pitted and have carbon all over them. I know some people say it doesn't do any good to clean them, but I kind of feel like that the air flow slows down. You know, any type of turbulence that you have, it's kind of like putting wax on your car. If you if you never, um, you know, put wax on your car, your car surface has a really rough surface. But, you know, every little bit counts, especially whenever you're slowing down a, a turbine like this to, uh, you know, try to get the air in and out as quick as possible. So... I got most of this cleaned up, but you can see how pitted it is. Um, really, I mean, if it if it was mine, I would replace the turbo and put a new turbo on it. But um, the owner of this one doesn't want me doing that. He just wants me cleaning it up and putting it back together. So that's what I'm doing. Hopefully, I can get this plate off. I still haven't got it, uh, you know, unfroze at all. It should it should spin on there without any problem. But even with force, I can't get it to to spin. You know, as far as the plate goes. Now, in order to get the ring to move, it's still pretty stuck on there. I was able to get the screwdriver underneath here and just wiggle it a little bit at a time and just barely get it to move. I don't want to pull it off on one side all at once. Just work your way all the way around because you don't want to warp or bend or break. Sometimes these are broke down here, and then you don't want to break it. But just slowly work it around, and you'll see it just barely moving a little bit at a time. Just keep doing that till you pop that ring off. And then once you get that ring to pop loose, then you can lift it up and see the underside. If it's really, really scraped up or screwed up, then it's probably not going to work. But uh, this one doesn't look that bad. So I'm going to clean up all the surface with the grinder and the back side of this and get to where it'll completely um, you know, move without any issues. Got to do the inside right there. You don't want to... Uh, damaged area because it does have tight tolerance, but go ahead and clean it up Okay, so I got most of the surface cleaned up and What I had to do is I had to get a, a little bit rougher of a row lock disc to clean up the rust um, Or the corrosion that was all the way around this ring right here now You got to be careful. You don't want to distort that out too much But you can see right there how it's pretty shiny and I smoothed out the surface now with the the ring uh, cleaned up you can see how it freely moves back and forth now and this is how it should do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some anti-seize compound on here lube it up all the way around um, it's I don't know how long this turbo is going to last with how pitted up it is but at least they'll get it back on the road and uh, allow the guy to be able to either sell it or save up some money for the a new turbo um, it only takes about an uh, hour or so to pull the turbo off and put it back on. It's not really too awfully hard, but I've got another video posted on actually how to, uh, you know, remove the turbo. Now, I did want to point out that a lot of people say to mark these things whenever you pull them apart. And, you know, I did mark them. I, I marked it all the way around. 
but at the same time, if you look on the inside, um, you know, where the Illinois uh, lever is, is on here. And then there's a pin right here that lines it up with the turbo right here. So it's pretty much going to go right back in the place where it's supposed to be. And on the, on the ring on the inside, you know, whenever you get it and it moves freely, you can see how freely it moves right there. But uh, if you tried to flip this upside down, then it won't work. So it's pretty much impossible for you to put it in the right in the wrong place. You know, now whenever you get it up here and get it on, you can see after you've cleaned up the surface, you can see how well this one turns now. It's completely freed. So I imagine that all the uh, boost will be restored now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some, uh, you know, anti seize compound along the bottom and along these just to, uh, you know, get them, try, try to hopefully keep them from freezing up in the, in the near future. Now, whenever you're putting the turbo back together, what I normally do is I line up the pin, which is on this side over here, and then I keep the edge a little bit up just so I can line up. Let me see. I don't know if I can show you or not. You can see right there how the lever for the solenoid is lining up with a hole. And then once I feel like, you know, I can go back and forth just slightly, just make sure it's in there, and then I'll flatten it out and go ahead and just tap the, the edges a little bit with the uh, rubber mallet to get it to seat down. I'm sorry the video is not too detailed. I just wanted to point out, you know, whenever the plate in there gets corroded and it can't change and you lose all your boost. Now, whenever you're taking off your turbo, there's a couple of bolts down in there. There's one on this side and one on the other side and one in the back. Once you get all that taken off, you can take the turbo off. It's not too awfully hard. It only takes you about uh, an hour or two to, you know, remove and put it back together, you know, put it back in. But other than that, thanks for watching my video today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Like like it, share it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again, everyone. Does it work now? No. It doesn't? No. Try it on the other side. <laughs> nope, it won't slide. It won't? No. Huh. Fix it. Fix it? Yeah, fix it again. Right. Here's, your rat Here's your wrench. Tightening up the engine? No, I'm fixing it. Oh, you're fixing the engine? Mm -hmm. I think it's ready to go. You think? Yeah. Okay. No. I'm going to take this off. Take it off. Okay. Making sure you don't lose the tools. Yeah, making sure I don't lose the tools. Yep. I almost slipped. Oh yeah. Thank you. Is that did that work? Yeah. It did? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Bye. you're welcome. Bye. Bye. I'll see you next time. See you next time when I when my highs broke when this thing is um broken, I, I'm gonna have to drive here because when tomorrow the engine won't sound right. Okay. Bye. Alright, bye. Bye bye.